Good afternoon, everybody. For those who are new to our channel, my name is Garrett. Welcome to Rural Relic Recovery. In today's video, Zach and I stumble upon a virgin schoolhouse. I mean, of course we knew there was a schoolhouse there, but this place was loaded, as you can see. Uh, the first few clips of this, uh, the first clip is me on a solo hunt two weekends ago. That was the only thing I found. And that's the first clip. Second few clips are another schoolhouse Zach and I went to where he found stuff and I found nothing. But that's what's going to happen. And then after that, you'll see our new schoolhouse condition. Start it up. You see the stars. 1917D. It's hot. So silver. I'm pretty sure that's silver. I hope it's silver. I have been all day. I don't think it's silver. Oh, that's foreign. That is foreign. Oh, it's a Philippines coin. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's silver then. What year is it? 1945. All right, not the silver I was expecting. I dug a zinc right there. I dug that right there. I also dug a little World War II pin out of there too. So that makes sense. Huh, hunting like an 1880s house. I'm in the backyard. Pickups have been slim today. Got a lot of no's, a lot of not homes. I got a yes though. So we'll keep looking. Zach's calling me over. We're playing a game called One Dime. It's an ass mint mark. Oh, I think this could be his first seeded. This is worn. I think this is his first seeded. It's worn. It's worn. I don't know, that might be sat down. I think you might. I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, it's oh. a barber. Dang, it looked worn. What year we got? 1912. Ooh, that might be a key date. I don't know. Yeah, let me get a good shot. 1912. Flip it. That's meant. Cool. I also got the. The five weedy spill. Yeah, you got a five weedy spill. Hey, this is right in my line. I totally walked over that. Nice. It wasn't the best. Oh, no, I, I was getting a spotty signal there, too. All right, we'll see what else pops up here. Zach Masters got himself an Indian now. Looks like it's a cruddy one. Looks like 1890. Means. Zach and I are at a new spot today. It's tall grass, but it's swingable. The grass needs to knock down. Uh, I just got my first target here. Uh, it's like an old Chevy token. This one focus. True Chevrolet, genuine Chevrolet. I gotta clean it up. Ready for the winter? That's pretty neat. Uh, schoolhouse used to sit there and an old trail used to cut through here, so let's see what we can find. 
All right, not two minutes. There's a Chevy token. After that, I got an Indian. Oh, it's green. Oh, it's green and it's it's nice. It is muddy. I will clean it up and get you a date. It's spot right on the dot, 1900, and they don't get much more prettier than that, guys. Uh, it's a pretty Indian. It's my first 1900 coin. I wanted to find one so bad. Uh, some of the uh, patina come wiping off, but that's all right. It's muddy, but I'm happy with that. Zach's over there digging a plug. This is going to be a good place. Stay tuned. Well, right here was an Indian. Another one. Uh, yeah, beep. see if there's friends. Uh, it's muddy. I'm going to have to finger rub it without the glove, and I'll get back with you. All right, so we're getting like a low 60s-ish signal, and I know that's what a fatty Indian or a flying eagle pops. 1228 on the E-track. Solid. Uh, don't be a bazinga. Popped it. No, oh, maybe I didn't. We already got two Indians. Yeah, Garrett found two Indians in about the first 10 minutes. I don't think this spot's ever been detected. There's no we about it. Oh, come on. You don't have a chance. Oh, it's a pull tab. Bazinga. All right. Zach's freaking out. Pull it out. Oh, it is that, a penny. That's an Indian. It is. is about it? time. <laughs> All right, now we got three Indians, zero wheats. Rub is that, that an Indian? It's got to be. Oh, I don't know why it wouldn't be. Why is mine? It's got some good green under there, though. Yeah, my my other one was pretty crusty. Come on, give me a date. You're probably gonna be older. I mean, mine was 1900, 1907. It's got some good details underneath. Oh, 1890. Oh, of course, it is 1890 something. 99. Of course, I think. you get older. Oh, by one year. <laughs> you suck. But it's all it's right. got some good patina, but it needs to be cleaned up. Right? Might be 89. That's 99. All right, here. 1899. That's 99, yeah. By one year, Zach, for the win. Woohoo! Here's your Indian, good sir. Fuck, this place rocks, dude. This place does rock. Pardon my French. I thought you turned the camera off. No, nah, it's still rolling. <laughs> all right, now we're off. Zach banged a B now. Got that V nickel. Let me rub it on this wet grass. Yeah, get it all nice and wet. We've got about four inches here in the last two days. Oh yeah, it's been sporadic. I mean, we've look had, at this plug here. We've had tornado warnings all throughout Kansas the last two days. It's been wild. We get We're actually rain. sitting right in a spot called the <laughs> There's a big hill over here. And when the fronts come in from the west, it splits them right around here. So this spot is known for actually diverting tornadoes. That's true. We haven't had a tornado here in quite a long time. Knock on wood. 1800s. Or 1890. Ooh, that's my oldest V. No, sh no and really. it's a good V. Look at this thing. All right, let me get it closer. Look, up the there. it's almost actually <laughs> rubbing up shiny. Holy crap! It is. Hold on, I couldn't get. Look it. at. I mean, that's freshly dug. That's yeah, that's, that's better true. than my cleaned ones. My oldest is an 1889, so I got you beat there. You got me beat on the Indian. I have a lot of V nickels, but most of them are post 1900. It's weird. All right. Happy days, man. This is about to be good. We'll let you know what else comes up. All right, hold me up. Hold on, let me get a close up. A silver, baby. All right, it's probably a barber. I hope. Could be a Merc. It's probably, it could be a Merc too. I think could it be seated. It's oh, a barber. It's a barber. I don't want to rub Come on it. on 1800s. I don't want to rub it too much. Put it in the wet grass. Nah. I got All right, time to uh, clean up this barber dime. I'll spray it for it if you want to hold it. Oh, I want to spray it. Oh, well, that's my favorite part. All right, here we go, here we go. Now it's a 19. It's a 19.0. It's a 19.01. See the reverse. It's got good detail on even for the edges being so worn. It's got mint. Uh, I don't think it does. I don't see a mint. No. Either way, what? awesome find. All right, hold on, let me get a flip back. Me... 1901. So we got an 1899, we got an 1890, now we got a 1901. You called it. If it's going to be silver, it's going to be early 19. That was rolling that whole time, right? Yeah. Okay. 1901, 1900, 1907. Where's my token? 1899. 
That's an hour. That's an hour's worth of work. In uh, knee high grass. Knee high grass, and we're banging these. Like, that's. Can't wait till they hay it out. Oh, yeah. All right, we got a live digger that's rolling. Right, last time we did a live dig, I screwed it up, so. Eighty-five, eighty-seven on the AT Pro. Uh, Working in thick, wet grass here. Yep. Uh. Now it's not silver. Ooh, it's a lock. It is a lock. That's neat. What's it say on it? Corbin, I think. See the front? Corbin lock. Yeah, I have that one of those exact same locks, only bigger. Zach's got another Indian. What? Uh... Oh, that is a pretty one. Front's kind of wiped. That's a. Is that, you sure that's an Indian? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's bigger. Okay, I thought it looked. The bigger. back looks great. See? Oh yeah, one cent. Those gloves were unlucky for me last time. I didn't want to wear them. You want me to give a dry finger rub? Possibly. What is this number three or two for you? That other one was a weedy. Oh yeah, that's right. Get a close up. Or you trying to get the date here. It's an 18. Of course, it's 89. An oh, broken in the 1880s now. Check her out. Hold on, let me readjust. It looks like 1889. Yep, yeah, broken in the 1880s. Oldest nice. coin today is 1936. Now yours, what? That's the coin, newest. newest coin, I mean. Yeah, there you go. Right here. It's, it's going, I think. I think I have a trime here, folks. I I think. I, I don't know. It's peeping just like Paul's. Hold it in your, hold it in your palm. Well, I gotta rub it. I can't tell. It looks... You know, it could be a token, but it... it what did it uh, beep at? 6061. I know that's a trime because Paul found one and I beeped it. Oh, I don't want to rub it too much. Definitely, definitely got a relic here. I think it's an old button. There's nothing on the front. It's a two piece looking. I can't tell if that's a shank buster or what, but I think it's a button for sure. Get back with you. And I don't know what that trime looking thing is. It, uh, it beeps trime. It sounds silver, but it, the details don't look try me, I guess. We'll, we'll let you know when we find out. All right, got me a nickel now. This is focus. There we go. Looks like a V. Oh, it could be a buff. I think it's a V, though. Looks like a V. Uh, yeah. I think it's a V. He's over there digging. I'll get a date for you guys and let you know. It's gonna be a 1900. Back's a little worn, but my second 1900 coin for the day, my second 1900 dated coin ever. I can't break the 1800s today, but that is okay. We'll get back to you if find anything else. Still out here grinding away at this field. I'm just got a uh, the front of a great seal button or hat pin or something. It's still got the gilt on this side. I'm gonna have to. Uh, Get this one, wipe it on my vest. This place has been amazing. Yeah, I'll clean that up. I'll clean that up and show you exactly what it is. After lunch now, Zach's got himself a silver. It's a jumpy signal. <laughs> I almost abandoned it because of that iron right next to it. Yeah. But then we zeroed in. Is that a one dime? I don't know. I hope. I thought it was like a Merc. Could be. Oh, yeah, it's oh, a Merc. Merc. Nice. I knew there'd be more silver here. It's probably an older 45. one. 45. 45? Wow. 45. That's a last year mark. You just made that one. Alright, let me see it. And you drop it. Lost it again. Nineteen forty-five Merc for Zachary. <sighs> D, you got a D mint mark. Alright. You're playing in Denver today. <laughs> 
There you go. Sweet. Sweet. All right. Juice. Oh, juice. Thank you. There's got to be more here, folks. There's got to be. That's two silvers, four Indians, four or five wheats, two V-nickels. This is a virgin schoolyard. Look how tall the grass is. And look how tall the grass is. Like, there's my knee. It's coming up to our knees. Obvious. We're just trying to mat the grass down so we can find stuff. All right, well, a few feet from his uh, silver, I got another nickel. And I'm guessing it's a V. Oh, yeah, it's another, it's another V nickel. I'll take a V nickel over a buffalo nickel. Sweet. Let me get a date for you guys. All right, this one's going to be in 1904. Well, I cannot believe the crap we're finding at this schoolhouse. I'm loving it. It's here for That's, SLQ, a barber. Has to always beat me. That's probably a barber. Oh, please. Could be, I'd be happy with the Washington. Dude, that's a seated. No, that's a seated. Look at that, dude. No, that's a Washington, dude. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, you're right. <laughs> ah! I got too excited. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. thought I saw it. A funky looking eagle. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> I right. saw the head only. Yeah. <laughs> it was all like more gnarly looking. Heck yeah, what year? It's a 42S. Nice. All right, so there was big silver here. <laughs> You'll have to edit out my excitedness. Nah, I'm keeping that in. Zach's calling me over here for a hold Indian, and he says it's an old it's one. It's a good one, too. Oh, yeah. You got clean hands? Uh, I got it's too muddy, but it's going to rub up here. nice. All right, here, let me, let me finger it. A tough signal, too. It's a tough signal. Oh, yeah, it's going to be real nice. Oh, and his hold. Oh, that's... That's a cool Indian. Eight, 1864. Damn. That's a good coin. Oldest yeah. coin here by far today. Oldest coin here by Hell yeah, that's cool. We're good job, the man. 70s, we hit the 60s. Is there an L on the ribbon? I don't know if you can, you know what I'm even talking about. Yeah. Is there? No, I'm just saying I know what you're talking about. I can't tell. We'll get back to you guys on this. We're still going to poke around here. That was a pretty deep one, but this is cool. It's a Ford token, 1903 to 1933. Gave it a little kiss, but we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. 30 years of progress, and then it has V8. That is extremely cool. This is definitely a virgin schoolyard, folks. Like, no doubt. <laughs> It's a Washington dude. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, you're right. <laughs>